welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Mega Man 3. Well, I think we know how this is gonna go. Look, we might as well get this out of the way. This game is gonna be great. Why? Because it's a 90s Capcom game. I know I've talked about Konami being one of the most consistently quality companies back then, but honestly, Capcom is right up there on their heels, if not outright surpassing them. Whether it was a shoot 'em up a fighting game, or one of many, many platformers, Capcom could pretty much always be relied on for a great game. Look at some of their entries here on Game Boy Roulette. Little Mermaid, DuckTales 2, Mega Man Extreme, Mega Man 5, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, all of which were pretty dang good games in very different ways. Really, any time you saw a Capcom logo, you knew you were in for a good time. And speaking of Mega Man, hey, this is a Mega Man game. The Mega Man games on Game Boy took the tried and true gameplay method and injected some uniqueness into them by mixing up the Robot Masters and adding in some more interesting characters. In this case, the game combines four Robot Masters from Mega Man 3 with four from Mega Man 4 and introduced Punk, a character who was later added into Mega Man Battle Network at the request of producer Kaiji Inafune. So, hey, this game has more of a legacy than the one I played the most, Mega Man 2. Nobody even remembers Quint and his weird jackhammer. And I mean, what do you expect the cover to be other than Mega Man? He's speeding towards the castle on Rush, and seems to be rather okay with the weird dragon about to kill him. Also, this was in those days when his cheeks were really, really puffy. I am looking forward to this one. Polish your blasters, it's time for Mega Man 3. Licensed by Nintendo, because they all are. Oh, we're just right into it. Mega Man 3. Ah, uh, look at that logo. The finest gradients Game Boy could do. Uh, I guess there's no pre-game story. Or if there is, they probably just threw it in the manual. Because, you know, it's the Game Boy. But it's also Mega Man. I mean, let's be honest. The story is probably just Dr. Wily's doing something and we would prefer he didn't. Let's go. Yep, we are right into it. Sparkman? Uh, Gemini Man. Oh, one of the best songs in Mega Man history. Uh, I think that's Shadow Man and that's clearly Snake Man. We, we gotta go Gemini Man. Just to hear the Game Boy rendition of his song. Ooh, Sparkle. Please be a good version. It's a good version. It's looking like, yep, yeah, standard Mega Man controls. A to jump, B to shoot, and Slide is here. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, they've introduced the uh, Power Shot at this point. Like I said, the one I played the most was Mega Man 2, and they didn't have the Power Shot in that one. Well, cool. Power Shot is excellent. I, I said the things about Mega Man now. There's there's not much to add other than it's 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 great. <laughs> so let's just enjoy ourselves. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. These bugs are relentless. Penguin! Eggs! Penguin eggs! Exploding eggs! Oh god! Everything in Mega Man was weird, that's right. What? Oh, these are just like background things. Uh, I don't like living jail. Oh god, right, this mechanic. You have to, like, create your own path through the level. I mean, let's be honest. Mega Man had a formula. Mega Man had a formula that they perfected pretty much immediately. And they stuck with it with pretty much all of the games, just making minor changes. You know, stuff like adding in Rush, and the slide, and the power shot. Ah, frogs. I, I think those guys are reused from Mega Man 2. Like, I actually am recognizing some of this stuff. I mean, obviously the Mega Man sprite is totally reused. Oh, giant penguin. Oof, this guy's actually hard to dodge. Oh, the slowdown. Oh, that's how you know you're doing very good in the game. When you're attacking the processor itself. How... Oh god, I got so confused! I don't know how I dodged it the first time. Oh, don't tell me. Damn it. Okay, so I'm getting back to where I was and I'm noticing something. There's so much going on in this game, there's considerable slowdown. Which isn't necessarily a good thing, because they clearly packed a lot into this game compared to Mega Man 2, but it's also... God, the Game Boy can barely handle it. <laughs> Aha! Let's do this. You gotta jump through it. That's the only way to do it. Uh, I have one and a half laps to beat Gemini Man. As I recall... Oh god, how do you even fight Gemini Man? It's been a while. 
Oh, there's two of them? But how? Why would Gemini Man have two? That makes no sense. Ow. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, it's more important that I don't hit him. As in, like, him touching me does a billion damage. And it's over. Mega Man is a difficult game. Uh, might as well check out one other stage. Snake Man. <laughs> one of the sillier uh, Robot Masters. The music's great. The gameplay is great. There's a bit of slowdown, but it's not bad. It's, it's exactly what you expect it to be. Oh, another reused enemy from the last game. It's it's Mega Man for Game Boy. I I really don't have much to say about it because it's it's really good. Okay, maybe I can say something about it. Like, check out this large snake. Like I was saying, Capcom was always good at these platformers. They just, they just had, they knew what worked and they stuck with it. By not taking chances, they instead got to focus on hammering down exactly what made these games so much fun. So like when I say, oh, Capcom didn't take chances, I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that as a plus. Rather than, because a lot of companies experimented during this time period and failed miserably. Capcom figured out what to do and stuck with it. Eddie! Eddie, you're worthless. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, the Mega Man games are very difficult. Oh god! I don't remember if this is like an exact recreation of Snake Man's level. Same goes for Gemini Man's level. I'll look that up after this, but... Either way, it's it's fun. It's a competently laid out level, if difficult. Oh god. Alright, we should be able to take down Snake Man. Maybe not. Look, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I really... This is one of the few times when I have very, very, very... Oh my god, that one was on me. Very little to say about the game because it's great. It's difficult, as all the Mega Man games are, but it's great. I wish I was better at Mega Man. Maybe I should just say, yeah, it's good, and take an early lunch. This is honestly one of the more difficult parts of Game Boy Roulette, writing about a game that I fully expected to be great, and completely lived up to those expectations. There was a Mega Man formula, and since they stuck with it here, the game was exactly as great as you would expect. It looked nice, it controlled well, it had fun background music and good side effects, and high difficulty, just like the other Mega Man games had. I mean, what else is there to say? It was a 90s Mega Man game, so of course it's gonna be fun. I think we we all knew that from the moment this game was rolled. So, let's look at this a little differently. How does it compare to Mega Man 2, the one I played the most as a kid? Well, simply put, it was doing a lot more. Mega Man 2's gameplay was fairly simple, but now they had stepped things up with more enemies and mechanics, bringing it a step closer to the NES counterparts. However, that did lead to one minor issue, slowdown. There was so much going on that the Game Boy just couldn't handle it, so the game did start chugging during some of the busier times. But honestly, that wasn't that big of an issue, and I've played Game Boy games with significantly worse slowdown, so I think it's pretty forgivable. Overall, as I said earlier, not much to really talk about with this game. When I saw the words Mega Man, I knew I was in for a good time, and that is just what the game gave me. So if you like the Mega Man games, or platformers in general, this one is of course worth checking out. But man, when is the randomizer gonna land on Mega Man 2? I still want to show off all my skills in that game. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.